Let me show you how we can split a head and body shape into two separate dials on the Genesis 9 figure. I've explained a while ago how to do this with Shape Splitter, but that doesn't seem to work all that well on Genesis 9. It's very hit and miss. And some of you were asking, is there an alternate way to do this? And yes, there is. It's a built-in thing that you can use inside Dash Studio with a deformer that comes with the Genesis 8 and 9 figures. So this works for both Genesis 8 as well as 9. And let's see how to do this. So typically you end up with an OBJ file of your character. So I've just spun up a few dials and made myself a custom character inside Dash Studio. But you could also have done that in Z brush or in another modeling application and you end up with an obj that combines the head and the body so i don't have that yet let me just go and do that in case you've done it in dash studio you select your custom character up here and then you head over to general mesh resolution and this is very important when you create your obj you must switch this from high resolution to base resolution otherwise you'll get that geometry mismatch error which we all don't like so much then we head over to file export and i'm just going to go and put it on my desktop and call it custom character maybe i'll just call it custom here and then i'll hit save down here make sure this says obj and now another important thing make sure you remember which scale you use you need to use the same one on import and export otherwise you have size mismatches so to keep it simple i'm going to pick dash studio here and then uh, another super important thing is under filter objects make sure this is selected and then this drop down menu reads selected roots here that's enabled by default. What this will do is it will only save out the character and nothing that's attached to it. So no hair, no clothing. And that's exactly what we want in base resolution. Now I'll hit accept and that saves myself an OBJ. So now I'll go make my whole character invisible and I'll go and bring in a Genesis 9 base figure. I'll just, in figures, I'll just type starter essentials here, and then I'm going to go into Genesis 9, and I'll go and get the dev load here with the eyes. I'll go and say, yeah, load a new figure into the scene. That's important. And here we have the base figure. So typically what you would now do, and what you probably already know how to do, is with your figure selected, you head over to edit, object morph loader pro then up here you make sure you pick the same scale that you've used on export so in my case it's dash studio and then down here you go and import the morph so in my case it's custom i'll just go and select that and with nothing else selected on here if i hit accept then i should get this success message here and then under the parameters under morphs I get a single dial that now spins my character up into the shape that I had, but it's head and body combined. So there is no way to split this as it is. So there's no like shape splitter does it that it looks at this dial and it goes and creates you a new one as a copy. We can't do that. But what we can do in Morph Loader Pro is to attenuate this and only import a partial change of vertices. And the way to do that is to use this deformer that comes with Dash Studio. So once again, in Starter Essentials, in my Genesis 9 figure, there's a section here under Utilities that says G9 Head Split Deformer. And if I go and double click that, then you'll see that a little dialog comes up here and we'll just go and select all. That means the deformer is going to be applied to all these bits and pieces. And right now it looks like we're not seeing anything. There's a tiny icon down here. And just to show you what that actually does and how we're using it, if you open this up, you'll see that under the Genesis 9 figure, we have this deformer base here. And we're not actually using the functionality that deformers can be used for in Dash Studio. So if you open this up and then select this, you can see that if I go and left click and drag this thing out here, then we'll see that everything that's red will be moved. And then there's this fall off zone here where it goes to yellow and then eventually it doesn't have any influence on the figure at all anymore. And that's what's kind of, you know, mildly affected uh, or milder affected as I do that. So this is not something we want to use. I'll go and undo that. It just means that this is a group of vertices with an influence zone that Morph Loader can look at and say, only these vertices are going to be part of the morph we're creating. So that's essentially why we're applying that. We're not having to use that or anything. We just apply that. And then we go back to my morph loader, edit object morph loader pro with my figure selected. And then I'll go and import my same morph again, the full body morph that I had there, or the full figure morph here, custom. And I'm going to go and open this menu up and I'm going to go and just 
call this one custom head just so that it has a different name than my combined slider. So here comes the interesting part here. On the bottom we have a section called attenuate by and here this is a little tricky to open but if you go and right click on the right hand side here so don't right click here nothing happens. Don't left click here either nothing happens it just opens up but the real thing is you right click on the word none here and then this drop down comes up and you say weight maps deformer influence weights. And with that, the morph loader is now going to look at the deformer that's in our scene. And if you hit accept, then you go and have that imported. And as a result, if we head over to parameters, we have a custom head. And if we go left click and drag that, we have a head shape that is now being changed. Isn't that cool? So that's the head taken care of, which is really exciting. Now, in order to take care of the body, we do exactly the same thing, but we tell Morph Loader to do the inverse. We do basically like a minus one multiplication on the vertices. So do that again. Edit Object Morph Loader Pro. We bring in our custom character. And just like before, I'm going to go and call this one custom body. And then under attenuate by, once again, you right click on the word none. And then you say weight maps, deformer, influence weights here. And now you open this thing up and under strength, the default is one. If we go and double click into that field and just make it minus one, then we reverse this whole thing. So as a result now, if I hit accept, then the same thing happens. Morph gets important. Here we have our custom body. Left click and drag that. And that is now the body shape separate from the head shape. There we go. And if you dial both of them up, then of course, you know, have both of these things together. I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions about this, then please do let me know. I hope you're having fun splitting hairs and heads and bodies and all that.